What's up guys? We are back in HQ. It's good to be back. For those keeping track, I was just on vacation at the Virgin Islands. It was good to be on vacation, but I'm happier being productive and contributing valuable information and knowledge to the learned and wealthy community. For all the new viewers, my name is James Santiago and I'm a realtor, real estate investor, or just an investor since I also invest in other asset class. In this video, I'm going to answer a question from my good buddy from California who I played basketball with in amateur league back in the day in LA County. Homie, this video is for you and also to the learned wealthy community who can benefit from it. I don't want to waste your time, let's get to the video. Disclaimer! This video is not a financial advice. We are not attorneys, CPAs, or financial advisors. This video is made for entertainment purposes only, so do not take them as financial advice. We do not know your personal specific financial situation. We suggest you seek an actual financial advisor for real financial advice. Thank you. In this video, we're going to talk about home equity loan, how you can benefit from it, and the pros and cons of the home equity loan. Home equity loan is getting a loan and using the equity of your home as collateral. Let's review what equity is. Your home value is composed of two parts, your loan plus your equity. You add your equity and your loan together and you get the home value. Your loan is the part that you owe and your equity is the part that you own or you paid for. Therefore, many banks and lenders will accept equity as collateral to loan you money. And by money, I mean cash or credit. As we discussed in my previous videos, your home and its equity is an illiquid asset, meaning you can't easily convert it to cash. You can't use equity to trade. You can't use equity to invest. You can't use equity to pay for improvements. Equity does not make your home appreciate due to appreciation is based on home value and not on how much equity you have. The only thing equity is really good for is collateral. So you can get cash or credit. Cash or credit is a liquid asset. You can actually use it to trade, invest, and pay for improvements. Some people would say, yes, you can use equity to do all these. Trade, invest, and pay for improvements. But only indirectly. You'll have to use equity first to get cash or credit. You can get cash or credit for your equity using three ways. Home equity loan, refinance, or HELOC. HELOC is an acronym for Home Equity Line of Credit. This video is about home equity loan, so we'll only briefly discuss refinancing in HELOC and how it compares to home equity loans. To get a home equity loan, you have to apply for this with a bank or a lender. It's just like applying for a mortgage or a loan. Provide the basic loan application documents that banks usually ask for and some information regarding your home that you are using as a collateral. And if banks deem that you're worthy, then you'll get your lump sum of cash. At the same time, you'll have a new loan that you need to pay for every single month. Your new loan is a secondary loan on your property. Now your home value will look like this. You have your equity, your first mortgage, which was your original mortgage, and your second loan, which is your home equity loan. This is the main difference between a refinance and a home equity loan. With a home equity loan, you create a new loan. Your first loan still exists with the same terms and same interest rate. And with a cash out refinance, you're totally changing the first loan. Your first loan will be gone and you'll have a new one with new terms and new interest rates. How much money can you usually get with a home equity loan? A lot of lenders, I would say, will lend you about 90% of your home value minus your existing loan. But that depends on how qualified you are and how tight the lending standards are during that time. What are the pros and cons of home equity loan? Let's start with the pros, the benefits of a home equity loan. Usually, you get fixed monthly payments. And you usually have a fixed interest rate as well. This loan usually have a low interest since you're using your equity in your home as a collateral. You get the lump sum of money. Unlike a HELOC where you get like a credit card, using your house as a collateral. When lending is tight or banks don't deem you worthy of this credit anymore, they can cancel your HELOC. They can't do that with a home equity loan since you already got the lump sum of money. And the banks have to stick to the terms that they give you, the interest rates and the duration of the loan. You get to make your equity work for you. Since equity does not make your house appreciate, Remember, appreciation is based on home value, not based on your equity. Now that your equity is converted into cash, then you can either grow that cash or use it to improve your home. 
but make sure you spend that money wisely though because your home is on the line in order for you to get that loan and lastly you get to keep your first loan that means your original interest rates your original payments on that first loan and if you're already far along the amortization process you know how amortization worked where usually in the beginning of the loan your interest gets paid first and as you go further through the years your principal gets paid more and more since your first loan is still going to be the same original loan that means more of the principal is getting paid instead of getting a new loan where most payments will initially go on the interest first now let's go to the downside of home equity loan well you now have two loans to pay and not paying either can get you foreclosed by the bank. Both loans are liens to your property. You have a second loan. That means you have more monthly payments. You're paying two principals and two interests every single month. Also, you have to pay a closing cost in order to get approved for a home equity loan. This can either be 2% to maybe 4 or 5% depending on the lender and depending on how tight the money is during that time that you're applying. If you have any requests like my good buddy from California, write your questions or topics you want me to discuss on the comment section and I'll gladly make a video for it. Please like and subscribe. This helps me make more and more videos and I definitely love sharing these valuable information to the Learn Wealthy community so we can all improve our lives together. I hope you learned a lot today. I'll see you in the next video.